everybody. So we just had our first anniversary and Rob got me these lilies and roses. And he was actually in the Bahamas fishing for uh, two or three days. I was there for three days. Three days? Yeah. But so he it's, it's actually crazy just thinking about it. You know, so many times people think of us as just having this crazy fun life. And the facts of the matter are, as as a boat captain for a family, a lot of times I have to go away and I have to work. Although it seems amazingly cool going to the Bahamas on a big sport fishing boat, you're still away from your family. And on Monday, yesterday was our first anniversary. And before I left, I wanted to get her some flowers. So these are some lilies and some roses. That bloom. Yeah. And it just so happened on Monday, which was yesterday, boss was like, let's take the boat back, get some some repairs done. So we were actually able to be together on our first anniversary. Yay! Good thing about this, while we were there, although the Blue Marlin were not biting, the Wahoo and the Mai Mai's were just eating the bottom of the boat out. So tonight, we are going to do fresh Wahoo spring rolls with a honey soy glaze. Less sodium too. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Happy anniversary. I love you, babe. To many, many more. Yes, a lifetime more. And, and with me. Yeah, and we voted today. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say that. Oh, yeah. Well, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So if, I voted. If you complain about the political situation in America and you are able to vote but don't, your fault. Zip your lips. <laughs> All right, let's get to cooking. This is a fresh piece of Wahoo, and I leave the skin on it. Anytime I fillet them, I leave the skin on until we get back to the house or I'm ready to cook. And the best way to skin a Wahoo is cut it into a portion about that big. And then that's your center line. That'll be a little bit of a red line. Cut down to about the skin. And then cut right over. All right, so now what we have are perfectly white pieces of meat. No red, no blood, no bones, nothing. But we want them just about that size right there. Put a little flour on your plate here and on your cutting board, and you'll see why. Keeps everything sticky. These are Nasoya all natural egg roll wraps. Right off the bat, we're gonna take a piece of fish, perfectly sized. We've got celery, tri colored peppers, tomato, and cilantro. Want a little bit of everything in here. The fresh herbs are just a must. The smaller you make them, the easier they are to roll. Like take this one for example, I put like just the mother load in there. And you can see it's got little open edges. I don't even know how that's gonna work out. But the less you put in there, the easier they are to roll up. So keep that in mind. Less sodium soy sauce. Put that in there, not that much. And then we've got orange blossom honey. You want it to be about a 50-50 mixture. Just like that. Throw our green beans in there. Just a little bit of Everglades. That's the no MSG, less sodium. And it's brand new. Just to season it up. This stuff's actually really good. Now our oil's up to about 300 degrees. We'll reduce it to medium high heat. And then just carefully drop it in there. 
If somebody had like a deep fryer where you could drop them in the oil completely, could you do that? Absolutely, 100%. As soon as the outside of the roll is brown, everything inside is going to be done because the wraps actually cause all the heat just to circulate inside there. Everything else will be steamed and fully cooked. No problem. Just rule of thumb. When that's done, everything inside, it'll be done as well. It only takes very little time. Look how nice that is. Moving right along, folks. This is so fast and so easy. Look at that. They just come right out. Now, let me show you the trick. So good. So now what we do, take a little bit of our honey soy glaze, pour it in there just like that. And look how beautiful that is. There you go. Mm. Fresh Wahoo spring rolls with sauteed green beans. That looks so good. Lord, I thank you so much for this day. And I thank you for this food. Lord, I thank you for a safe trip. And I thank you for always keeping your hand of mercy upon us. For please nurse this food to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Game time. It looks so good. <laughs> well, let's see what you think, honey Polly. <clears throat> I like a little sriracha on mine. Mm. Take a little bit of wasabi. Put in the uh, soy glaze. Ooh. This is so good. So good. Oh my god. It tastes just as good as it looks. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And we're down to three weeks left. Three. That's it. So, my suggestion to y'all, give it a whirl. Mm -hmm. Add whatever. You could add mango. You could add little pieces of apple. I mean... Heck, leave in a comment below, what would you add to this to make it better? Oh, it's, I, I can't even picture adding anything else. It's so good at how it is. The key is fresh. Whatever fresh fish you have, try it. Or go to the store and buy some fresh shrimp. Peel and devein. Shrimp would be awesome in this too. So, hope you enjoyed Tasty Tuesday. We're having fun. Three weeks till our baby's here. Mm -hmm or less, and uh, all is good in the neighborhood. Okay, that's it for tonight's Tasty Tuesday. Subscribe now, leave a comment below, give us a thumbs up, and we gone. <laughs>